So what if I told you you can forget about grabbing sliders in Lightroom or Camera Raw or even Photoshop to add color to your images by easily making saturation and vibrancy masks in Photoshop and take full control over how that color is then added to your photo. And then what if I told you you can make it even quicker so you can do it anytime you want with a few clicks and I'm going to show you how. So typically when you're editing your images, you're going to grab the sliders of the saturation and vibrancy and give them a bit of a hit. Does it do the job? Yeah, for sure. Why wouldn't it? But the true way to level up your images and your skills with editing is not just about applying the color, but how do you apply and also control that color as well. So we're going to jump into Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to do it. As you can see here, this image is quite flat in the way of saturation and vibrancy. So when you open your RAW files into Lightroom, Camera Raw, or even this image into Photoshop, your image color saturation is usually sitting around here. It has all the information and it's up to you to extract and enhance it. And you wanna be able to move it from here to around here. But at the same time, you wanna be able to control how much and where it's being applied to. And that's where making masks to target pixels and areas that need more or less saturation and vibrancy in your image needs to be applied to. And this is where the saturation and vibrancy mask is gonna come in and really help you out. Okay, first things first, come down and grab yourself a selected color adjustment layer. Change it from relative to absolute and remove the color from them. Go to minus 100. And then in your whites, neutrals and blacks, plus 100. And what you're left with now is your saturation mask but you need to now use it as a mask. So what you do is you come into your channels. You'll see here that all your channels are exactly the same. So on your RGB channel, hold down your command or option key on a map, click it. You'll see that nothing happens, but it has done something. Come into your layers, come down to hue saturation, and you'll see the mask, mask has been applied. Just turn off your selective color layer because you don't need it. Hold down your option key and you can see that we have that mask. So as a saturation mask, if you wanna make a vibrancy mask out of this, all you gotta do is hit Command-I, invert it, and now that is your vibrancy mask. So if I click on the image now, and I grab our saturation and I increase it, you can see it's now adding color to the image using the power of this mask. So white will reveal, black will conceal. So you can see with an image like this, it's gonna have more saturation around the sun and less in these areas here. So that's why you can see that it's offering more protection. White will reveal, black will conceal. So that's why you see a darkening around the sun because it's identifying that this is a part of the image that already has colors that are more saturated or vibrant than the rest of the image. So when we apply plus 19 to this image, the brighter the pixels are, it's gonna add more of that 19, where around here, where it's darker, it might say, well, I'm not gonna add plus 19 to here. I'm gonna maybe plus it by three. So if you wanna make these masks over and over again, it's very simple. With your selective color layer, you can just come up to the little icon up here, save selective color preset, and it comes in, and I've already created it, and I've called it mine, Sat Vibe Mask, or Sat Vibe, whatever, whatever title that you wanna have it, it's no problem at all. So then hit save. So then if you want to do the whole process over again, all you got to do is come down, grab selective color, come in, load selective color preset, click on it, click open. It's already done it for you. Come into your channels, command or option click on your RGB channel, come into layers, come into hue saturation and it's applied. And then you can just come in and delete that. Just one thing to keep note though, see over here how when we've done it, it still says absolute. Just make sure the next time you make a selective color adjustment layer, you change it from absolute back to relative because you'll find that if you don't do that, see the adjustment where there before, it will add a weird kind of look to your image. And if it does do that, all you've done is forgotten to change it from absolute back to relative. And more often than not, really, when you go through and doing your editing, you're only going to really apply a saturation or vibrancy mask once to your editing workflow because from there, you've just added your, you've colorized your image how you want. And then you're just gonna go in and use different sort of adjustment layers to do selective color 
or you might do another sort of refinement on masking to subtract or add colour to your image. So it's really only a process that you need to do once. So it's really nice and simple. So if you want to understand how to do Photoshop editing more and making more detailed kind of masks to help you out with your post-production workflow, I'll leave links to those videos here for you to check out. And as always, give us a like, subscribe to the channel and thanks a lot for watching.